Life is more like the Gita and less like the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, they start off in a perfect garden. But in the Gita, they're starting right off in the battlefield. And sometimes in life, you got to fight for what you want. You got to stand up and be tough or you're going to be crushed. Where are you going to be crushed in your natal chart if you don't toughen up? Hi, I'm Jeremy Ryan, the birthday coach, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I help you do that with the secrets of astrology. When we look at the natal chart, it's Mars. Mars is the planet of war, the planet of standing up for yourself, toughening up, and not taking things so sentimentally or even emotionally, but more aggressively, more action oriented. So wherever you got Mars in your natal chart, you don't want to be a sissy about. You don't want to be sensitive about. You don't want to be too delicate because if you are, you're going to be disappointed in that area of life over and over and over again. If you're new to astrology, your natal chart has 12 sections and every section rules different areas of your life so wherever mars is in your natal chart whatever house it's in that's the house you got to stand up and fight if you want the things of that house so for example if you got mars in three seven or eleven these are the houses of happiness these are the houses of, uh, of relationships too in some regard so this means you got to fight for your happiness. Happiness is not going to come to you if you're just doing uh, a law of attraction and just being like peaceful. I'm not saying that you need to be a basket case, but I'm saying if Mars is in three, seven or 11, happiness isn't just going to come to you. You got to go to happiness. You got to tackle happiness. You got to seek after happiness with a warrior determination that I'm going to go after the things that will make me happy. Now, I know that goes against you know, a lot of teachings of happiness, like if you're trying to fight for happiness, it's going to elude you. And there's a place for that. But I'm trying to tell you that wherever Mars is in your chart, if you don't toughen up, you're going to have a lot of heartache. That Mars in the seventh, right? That's our, our marriage. If you don't fight for your marriage, then your marriage is going to crush you. If you don't fight for your business, because seventh house rules business, your business isn't going to prosper. Mars wants you to toughen up. Mars in the fifth means you got to go after the people you want to date. I don't care if you even do your own woman. And like, I just want the man to ask me. Mars in the fifth says, go get that man. Go get that woman. Show some confidence. Mars is confidence. Mars is bravery. Wherever Mars is in your chart, you got to be brave. You got to be confident. You got to be determined. And you can't get your feelings hurt. Can't get your feelings hurt. Got Mars in the fifth. You can't be so sensitive in your dating life that you get your feelings hurt that you shut down. That, that also means, you know, that sometimes in your dating life, you can attract people that are maybe uh, uh, angry because Mars rules angry. So you could have angry people you're dating. I don't want you to date angry people. I want you to date confident people. But you got to go after them. Mars says you got to fight for the people you want. You get, you know, those girls that say, oh, I, I don't want to fight for my man if you don't want me. Then I don't want you. You got Mars in the fifth. You go ahead and say, hey, sister. I'm going to go for the mister. I'm not sitting it back. He's what I want. She's what I want. And same thing in seventh house, right? In, in, in that marriage, right? So meaning you cannot become Venus in these areas unless your Venus is influencing it. Mars says toughen up. You can't let your feelings get hurt. You know, the same thing with, you know, Mars in two, six, or ten. You got to fight for your career. You got to fight for your money. You got to fight for your authority. Mars is fighting. You know, don't sit back. Don't be laid back. Don't sit down. Go after it with the gust go. Mars is a soldier. You know, left, 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 right, left. They just go. Mars is not a general. Saturn's a general. Saturn is strategic. Mars is, let's just do it. So what do you got to do in your career? Just do it. What do you got to do to start making money? Just do it. What do you got to do to start dating? Just do it. Where's that Mars? Where's that Mars at? That's where you got to toughen up or you're going to be crushed. Now, there are the other areas in your chart where you need to be loving and sensitive and kind. The other areas of your chart where you're going to be very intelligent, very smart. 
But we do, unfortunately, for some of us that have a very sentimental chart, very sentimental in nature, very emotional in nature, very, very empath, very healing. Mars is not a natural energy, but you still got Mars somewhere in your chart. Why? Because even in this life, you got to learn that sometimes you got to fight. Sometimes you got to fight for your right to party. You got to fight for your right to be happy, to be healthy to be spiritual, whatever it is. Where is Mars in your chart? Throw it in the comments section below. And you know what? Cry your tears, but toughen up, buttercup, because the things of that house, if you want it, you're going to have to go fight for it. All right, we'll see you next time.